Hey, Fire in My Bones here. Uh, this is a follow-up video to my winter layering system for the top. I'm now going to be focusing on what I plan on doing for my uh, bottom insulation for winter camping. wanted to mention uh, that underneath, I think that uh, these are some of the best that I've found. Uh, the Exficio uh, boxer briefs work very well for breathability and also uh, for uh, moisture control. Um, sometimes I'll wear just running shorts in the summertime. But since this is winter time, uh, this is probably what I'll be wearing. All right, over top of the Exficios, I plan on, be on wearing these tights. Uh, the tights have a lot of benefits to them. Uh, they uh, fit closer to the skin, which offers some compression, uh, which is gonna make the muscles uh, work a little bit better. You're also going to get a better, uh, a better form of insulation right up close to the skin where there would be better moisture transfer getting moisture off of the skin and the ability to keep it dry, which should also help keep it warm. Uh, over that, I am going to, for hiking, for additional wind resistance, and uh, just you know, general modesty on the trail, we'll be wearing uh, some, some Nike shorts. Uh, this also offers me uh, some pockets if I need something, uh, maybe to put uh, put some Aquamira in to keep nice and uh, warm while I'm hiking. Then I am going to, for any kind of quick stops, my anti-gravity gear rain pants will add wind protection. But I'll show you how all that fits on in just a moment. I'm going to start directly on my feet by wearing Still nylon, vapor barrier socks. These are not going to be full and complete vapor barriers because I do have uh, seams. However, because of the tight seam, uh, I have not noticed a whole lot of breathability on these. That's going to be a good thing. Then, some smart wool socks. I don't have any long, darn tough socks, so I'd probably wear those. Uh, I really like these. Uh, I've worn them uh, winter hiking before, you know, just on a general hike. Normally, the higher cut sock like this I find better uh, just for keeping just for keeping this down and controlled. So that's what I'm going to do here. That should help keep my vapor barrier sock nice and controlled. Then I'm going to fit that down inside my shoe. So now my foot is already going to be nice and warm and it's going to be waterproof down to my foot itself. Now the purpose of vapor barriers is to create a microclimate and that microclimate uh, kind of tricks your skin into thinking that it's a great deal warmer than it actually is. Um, so it should, in theory, stop sweating. Most people seem to have that effect. All right, for footwear. Uh, generally, I use the Innovate uh, Trail Rock 255s. Uh, I really like the Trail Rocks. Uh, they work really well. They sn sit snugly on my feet. But plenty of room in the toe box, and that's important. So we've got my shoe, got the sock, vapor barrier underneath. Ended up picking up some of these Neos Trekker shoes. Uh, these were some of the lightest ones that they had with the kind of height uh, for protection that I was looking for, particularly in the potential of uh, two foot of snow. So nice, big, flat, wide bottom. Notice not a ton of grip here. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do to fix that in just a moment. Just put my foot right down inside. Sit it right down on top. Now I wear a size nine to nine and a half, closer to nine and a half, uh, so I can get the width in the shoe that I'm looking for. Uh, with these Neo Sober shoes, I went with the size large using their measuring chart on their website. For width, I am perfect, but for length, I've got about a thumb width in between the tip of my toe and here. 
But look what happens if I fold that up. It goes away. That's where the secret's going to come in. So let me close this up. To close up my Neos over shoes, I just hold this all in. This comes up and around, and it's closed up around up top. Down bottom, it has a buckle over the ankle, buckles into place, and I'm all set. Now, to prevent this from sliding up and down, there's also this really nifty cord lock with some bungee, and I'm set and ready to go. For slippery conditions, however, I've got some Catula Micro Spikes. Uh, thank you so very much, uh, Franky, for letting me use these. This is going to be a big help. These are also size large, which actually fit perfectly on the size large Neos. So I'll slide this over top so you can see what's going on here. Just kind of line this up on the bottom of the shoe and here on the tip this squeezes the shoe around my inner shoe so when I go to step it's all taken care of and I don't feel any wiggle there's still plenty of air trapped inside the body of the overshoe and I think that this is going to end up working out just like I want it to so this is hiking for in camp, I'm, there's going to be a couple of things that I'm going to have to change out with. Thankfully, with my tights and my shorts, I can just leave them on unless my shorts have gotten wet. Thankfully, with this outer layer, I can just pull them off if they've started to get moist, uh, and I can let those dry in my hammock overnight. So I think. Now, I do have to change my layering on my legs a little bit once I get into camp. I'm just going to leave it on one side so I can show you what the difference is going to look like. I will pull off my shoes. I will be able to use my Neos overshoes as something to step on. These are the Bora Gear down pants. Got these for Christmas. Uh, these are size mediums with a 30 inch inseam. Uh, made out of the Tindy fabric, and I'm pretty sure that they're currently using Argon. So, this is going to go just like this. Down pants, loaded and ready to go. Now, for my footwear, that's going to be a little bit different for in camp. For inside of the Neo shoes, you can buy a special foam insert for padding. I just made some out of some rather thick <laughs> uh, foam that I have. Uh, this should hopefully prevent my feet from getting cold just standing in camp. Uh, this is a similar matting to what, you, what chefs use uh, or um, individuals who are working uh, doing machinery where you're standing in one place for a long period of time. Uh, this kind of padding helps uh, resist the impact really good on your joints. feels nice and squishy to stand on. So, I took some of this padding, cut them out. This is going to go down inside of the Neo shoe. This will have to be something I'll do for after I set up the hammock. That fits in perfectly into the bottom. Now, over top of just my regular wool sock, remember that I do have the vapor barrier underneath. I'm going to take just an, one of my acorn fleece socks. This is also a size large. And fit it right on over top. Then, over top of this sock, uh, this, uh, these are uh, some DIY down socks, uh, like little booties. I'm going to make a second pair. Um, to, it'll fit my feet just a little bit better. Take these and slide this on. Now I have all this insulation on, but I need to protect it. I need to keep it dry. That's where my anti-gravity gear rain pants come back in. 
as a sill nylon shell. This works great for keeping everything nice and dry. I'm going to step back down into my overshoes. Fold it all up. Wrap it around. Close this off. And now, I've got plenty of insulation down inside. Tighten this up just a little bit on the back. Lots of loft and insulation here. It's not too heavily compressed. And then the insulation inside my shoe is not heavily compressed. Now the only problem that I have with this, and one of the good things that I think that will be nice about not hiking in this system, and I've all set up for camp, is that this is quite a bit floppier. Um, I'm not sure the best way to maybe reduce that floppiness. I'm already using some mighty thick foam down in the bottom. Um, I could put the micro spikes back on, um, but for just walking around camp, I'm not sure if that's going to be needed. Plus, the micro spikes compress all of this fluffy insulation, and that'd probably be counterproductive for keeping my feet warm. So, that's the my winter layering system for my the lower half of my bottom. So, to recap, we've got on the bottom. Neos Overshoe. I've included in the weight for these the foam pad insert uh, just to make weighing everything out simpler because I figure if I'm taking these, I'm going to want these for in camp. Homemade down socks. Fleece socks. Wool socks. Vapor barrier socks. And to grab the gear rain pants. Bora gear down pants. Nike shorts. Under armor tights, and the Exficio boxer briefs. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop comments down below. I'm uh, very much looking forward to hearing your thoughts on how I can improve my warmth system. Have a wonderful day, and enjoy that uh, those six more weeks of winter weather that Punxsutawney Phil brought us.